ग्रेट टेन चैप्टर नाइन बोली दिस चैप्टर इज रिटन बाई के अब्बास के अब्बास वॉज एन इंडियन ऑथर इन दिस चैप्टर एज वी रीड द टाइटल वी लर्न हु इज द प्रोटोकॉनिस्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी एंड लेट इज रीड एंड फाइंड आउट वाई शी वॉज कॉल बोली सुलेखा वॉज नोन एज बोली Why was it so? Since her childhood, everyone had been calling her Bolly, the simple girl. Ramlal had seven children, three sons, and four daughters, and the youngest of them was Bolly. It was a prosperous farmer's household, and there was plenty to eat and drink. All the children except Bolly were healthy and strong. The sons. had been sent to the city to study in schools and later in colleges so this is how uh, ramlal police father who had seven children used to be very considerate about his sons and uh, provided them with whatever they pleased but on the other hand we see that he never thought about sending his daughters to school now what made him send boli to school and uh, why he was compelled to do so as we read we learn that uh, a primary school was supposed to be inaugurated in the village and this is how he happens to meet the tehsildar and uh, the tehsildar told ramlal that being an official a representative of the government in the village he should think about sending his daughters to school did ramlal agree to do so ramlal had a word with his wife boli's mother did not agree to send boli to school for her boli was too young and dumb enough to be sent to school she was very thoughtful about her marriage and later on when ramlal told her that they can send their daughter to school boli's mother thought that if boli would be educated she would be able to find a better match for her and now after uh, the discussion was over ramlal ultimately decided that there would not be any other point that they should worry about and they should be happy to send boli to school so that they would be relieved once she is mature enough to understand life it would also become easy for them to find a good match for her thinking so he asked boli to dress up for school he made all the arrangements so that boli can look presentable and he thought to drop her to school every day on the very first day of the school when they reached the school the children were already in their classrooms ramlal handed over his daughter to the headmistress so this is how boli was sent to school when boli was in her classroom she saw the children of her age busy drawing and doing other activities she was very quiet and subdued when her teacher asked what's your name little one she stammered she could not share out of sheer nervousness what was her name she tried for a long time and then she said that her name was bully now the teacher was a generous lady she could understand how bully might be feeling and this is how she tried to comfort her and encourage her on the very first day of the school so this is how we can say that boli started taking interest 
in the class activities and she loved going to school the village became a small town so as the time passed things changed for better the little primary school became a high school there were now a cinema under a tin shed and a cotton gilling mill the mail train began to stop at the railway station what happens next what problem did bolly face and how was it resolved now ramlal and his wife they thought that bishambar nath would be a better match for her now bishambar nath was an old man he had children and as he had lost his wife it was the time for him to think about his second marriage he was a greedy man he was not physically fit and he accepted the proposal to marry bolly now as he did not ask for dowry ramlal and his wife thought that they should not miss any opportunity and get bolly married to bisambanath as soon as possible did bolly agree to this was she happy to accept the proposal what made her think about her marriage let's read and find out as we read further we learn that bisambar nath who was very greedy did not know about how was bolly he did not see her and uh, he could not make out that she had pop marks on her face on the day when marriage was supposed to be done he was shocked to see bolly for him bolly was not a pretty young girl but when bisambar nath was not ready to marry bolly bisambar's friend was there to accompany him on this occasion told bisambar that even he was quite aged and too old to get married for the second time now bisambar wanted ramlal to pay the dowry he asked for money bolly was standing in the corner observing everything she did not comment although she disliked the way the things were taking shape in front of her after a short while she intervened she told her father that she would not accept this proposal as she was not ready to marry bishambarnath out of sheer disappointment ramlal had tried his best to beg bishambar to accept his daughter when he failed to do so and when he learned from bolly what she thought about her life and how mature enough she was to consider the situation Ramlal felt proud. He decided that Bolly would not marry Bisambar Nath. And this was a lesson that was learned by Bolly's parents that they should not consider Bolly to be a simple term. As she had become self-reliant they could not think about anything else but to respect their daughter and accept her as she was 
read the chapter and try to answer the questions in your own words